All right, hello, hello everyone. So in this video, uh, as you see, I have the Wisdom of the Trees Oracle. I decided to bring it in, incorporate it with the mushrooms and the herbarary and crystallaries, um, and maybe the fairy tarot. I'm just gonna see where it goes. Um, dang it, my cat is in here and he is bugging me. So hey, I'm gonna let him come say hi because he's gonna, he never gets to come in. So hi guys, you get to see my cat. What's up? hi okay now you get out of here buddy anyways he's so curious about it and so he was gonna climb it anyway so i was like let's just have him jump in and do it let me get these out this is the jane struthers Ooh, underneath there is linden Ooh, lovely with the beautiful rainbow that's the peace and tranquility okay so i don't know what sign this is for i'm gonna also get zodiac signs before I'm going to look under there. Oh, moon sign. So this could be dealing with your moon sign in particular, but moon could also represent, you know, the cancer sign, the Pisces sign, or your moon sign. So it's really getting to the emotions of it, whatever. Um, so we'll see. It doesn't mean you have to have those, but this moon, the moon, moon, moon. Sagittarius and Scorpio. Sagittarius, Scorpio, and moon. That's what's underneath there. Maybe it's very specific for moon signs case. Okay? So if you're a Sagittarius or a Scorpio, uh, I don't know. I'm going to shuffle it and then see which one pops out. I like always just kind of peeking and seeing and then see how it correlates or whatever, right? Okay. Who, who are you? Sagittarius. Okay. Hmm. I see Jupiter. No way. I look under the deck again. So 918, 99s, nine the nines. There's also the Cancer sign right here, the moon. 418, 49, Venus, 416. So Sagittarius, so your card originally, it came in reverse here, okay? And Jupiter did too. Is that, that's like abundance, wisdom, regarding a cancer sign so either you have this or you're dealing and that scorpionic the water signs there's capricorn with that too that's all i'm saying right here so we got cancer capricorn 104 118 uh scorpionic what's 822 is that leo or virgo okay weird sorry guys my cat did that <laughs> Weird thing with the camera. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So we're going into the trees. Like I said, the linden, it's in reverse. So it does read differently. I am going to read out of the book with these because I am still kind of learning these. And the Hawthorne, lovely. So I do know what this one is. The Hawthorne is letting magic in. Kitty. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting mad at the kitty. He's right here again. Okay. He doesn't normally get to be in here and he's jumping up. He's the one who's bumping the camera. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys apologize so check it out this is how i split this sagittarius this is how this is going to be split hawthorne is also about it's the magic this is the fairy uh bush or something like the star i saw a lot of stars i'm noticing this is the peacefulness even noticing the the little honeybee hmm Okay, so I'm going to read those out of the book first to start for Sagittarius. Um, if I can find my book. Yeah, where is it? It's right there. I put it back in. Okay. So, Linden and Hawthorne. These ones are a little harder to find because it's not just in alphabetical order. Okay, so the first two cards. Hmm. The first card was Linden in the past. It was in reverse. So, it could also mean that there wasn't a sense of peace or happiness. Um, but the Hawthorne, the horseshoe. Ooh, maybe we should do a horseshoe spread. See, because I, I feel like that. Like, you guys got the horses. Something about the Mustang today. I saw something really interesting. This actually makes me think of um, Gemini, which is your opposite, right? Um... And Taurus, the Mustang, huh? 
past influences in the final outcome. So a seven card spread is a horseshoe spread. Mm. See, I'm learning as I go. This is what Sagittarius is all about. Higher education, constantly learning about new things, culture, travel, even, um, you know, sporting things, competition, even horseshoe. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm stuck on the horseshoe with Jenny felt. Jenny felt she had reached a turning point in her life. She was considering moving home and possibly even relocating to a different part of the world, but wasn't sure if that was the right thing to do. She was terrified of making a mistake. Jenny chose the horseshoe spread because she wanted to see the way forward and gain a sense of what lay in store for her. So this is in the book, okay? I, that's what it says in the book. This is showing an example of a spread. And then it shows how she read it. And the, whoever Jenny is, Jenny just happens to be the one that was spoken about. Okay, I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. So I think I want to do the horseshoe for you, Sagittarius. And any cross watchers or anyone else who watches. Remember, it did say moon sign. So I don't know what that means. Maybe you're just dealing for Pisces or a Cancer. Or this it really will tap into the emotions of things. Um, like I said, and there's Scorpionic. Let's see. So, Sagittarius. I'm going to say sun and moon with this. But different ones, you know what I mean? Depending on your sun sign or your moon sign. Sorry, this is taking me a while to like flip through. Peace. To get this piece. To find this little piece. The piece of the puzzle. The four. Nine, four. A lot of Virgo energy. 49, 12, communication even, Pisces to peace. So it was in reverse when I first started this. So I'm going to read them both so you can, you can, I mean, you know you better than I do. I'm just reading the cards. That's all I do. I'm just reading the story, learning as I go. All right. You're caught up in something that is hard to resist. It could be an unhelpful habit or a particular way of life. But you can only detach yourself from it with effort. Once you're able to do this, you will feel light and free. Look at my heart-shaped leaves. Ooh. The linden has the heart-shaped leaves. There's also another one called like a rosebud that has these heart-shaped leaves. Hmm. If you want to understand my affectionate message to you, try to send out a sense of love and peace wherever you are in the world, regardless of your outer circumstances. They're also known as lime tree, a lime. Hmm. Put the lime in the coconut. And dun, dun, dun. Okay. In Greek mythology, Phylera, Phylera, the mother of the centaur, Chiron was transformed into a linden tree. Are you kidding me, Sagittarius? Do you understand? For me, that also Sagittarius can sometimes represent the Chiron is the centaur. This is a centaur. Chiron is the wounded healer. Uh, Taurus sometimes um, Chiron is usually it's a fixed uh, astrological thing as well. And it's, it sits in like Taurus for a huge amount of the population of the world. So in the, hmm, interesting, the linden tree and the Chiron in the mythology. Oh, okay. In Norse and Germanic legend, the linden was the sacred tree of Frigga the mother goddess, and Freya, the mistress of the earth. And Freya has the bow and arrow too, a very similar appearance as the Sagittarius. Um, a tea made from the flowers calms the nerves and soothes digestive issues. So upright here, you are finding life too hectic and demanding. Look for opportunities to be peaceful and quiet each day day 
even if you can only snatch a minute or two here and there. Go outside and appreciate the beauty you find around you. Mm. You, candle box, it's for you. <laughs> okay, I really like this. So much about the horses. Okay, um, and the chestnut. So as I turn the page to the horse chestnut, right? And some like, like I want to do the horseshoe for you. I don't know why. You know, it's a representation of good luck. Um, putting the shoes on the horses um, helps them to be able to travel the long distances. That And that's kind of a Sagittarius energy as long distance trips, travels. Um, the, the metal of it, even the fire, welding it, um, blacksmith stuff. I don't know why this is so interesting. Hmm. I'm actually really fascinated. I was thinking of a couple Sagittariuses that I've known from the past, like that I grew up with back in the day. Different because there was definitely Scorpionic, you know, friends from high school. Um, also, my beautiful daughter. Hmm. She's. It's like testing. It's like finals for everyone right now, like today when I'm doing this video. It's the ninth, by the way. Six nine when I'm doing it. I'll try and get it uploaded today. I had a little free time. It's kind of cloudy and rainy today. So. All right, so you're in for the long haul, Sagittarius, 11.44. Let's go. So about consideration. I know I haven't pulled it in here, but horse chestnut. Something is puzzling you. Hold it up to the light of careful thought and do not be in too much of a hurry to solve the conundrum. Like I said, in for the long haul. The long haul. Hmm. Sometimes the answer is slow to arrive. So do your best to be patient. 5-3. There's a lot of Taurus with that too. Even Leo, Gemini's Scorpionic, okay? My shine, this is about consideration. My shiny brown fruit has many practical uses, yet children enjoy playing with it too. I can teach you how to consider the advantages and disadvantages of everything you come across to help you gain greater wisdom and understanding. All right, Skid Row. Ricky was a young boy. Is that 18 and left? He had a heart of stone. Listen to that. Yeah. I don't know why. These are the things that kind of... And um, some Guns and Roses, you know. <laughs> and I remember you. I don't know why, but okay. There you go, Sag. And sweet child of mine. Of course. Sweet orange and hawthorn. Here we go. Now we got the magic. Here's the hawthorn diva message. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is what we will also pull into fairies because this is how I see it like flows together. The fairies, the fairy whispers, the fairy tarot, even magical times. Okay. All right. Treat me with caution and give me respect. Because I am an ancient and powerful tree. My thorns are sharp to give me protection. And wherever I grow is said to mark the entrance to the underground realm of the fairies. Hmm. The underground realm of the fairies. The unicorns are also included with that. So maybe I will. I saw. It was actually a lovely Sagittarius. I was... Um, doing a reading and uh looking at the cards and she pointed out one of these cards and I can't remember which deck it was in and there was the little door at the bottom of the tree and that to me was like ah into the fairy hollow too so there's protection there's thorns it's said to be the entrance the star okay hear me out Sagittarius this is kind of but my creative flows just popped in so I'm doing this like poor art stuff, right? But I'm trying to be creative, do different things. I think I might like do a line like of it into the star. Or I make a center out and I like, 
I don't know. I, I'm getting lots of different ideas. I'm going to go do this afterwards. Yes. Okay. May Day. Okay, here we go. The, the hawthorn with its sharp thorns and intricate network of branches has been grown as hedges, hedging for centuries. It's strongly associated with magic and spiritual cleansing. Its white flowers born profusely in spring associate it with the purity of the white goddess. It flowers around May Day, which is also the Celtic festival of Beltane, and it was believed to protect against the witches who were always very active at this turning point of the year. Hawthorn has long been used as a herbal remedy to balance blood pressure and strengthen the heart. It's upright. It says the world is full of miracles. If you have eyes to see them, connect with the magic of your own senses and the power of nature. Rejoice as each new season arrives, savoring it for everything it can offer you, right? <laughs> joy, find joy on the journey. <laughs> So that's page 65. So there's your 11. Interesting. 9, 11, 6, 5. Hmm. The, the two. And, and I made the two separate piles. So those are the two. That's where we have started, Sagittarius. So since we've done that with the trees for you, and we're already at 1626, let's go to... The fairies. Okay, we're just going to get a couple different fairies. I will maybe shuffle these again. We're in for the long haul. All right, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. These, there's 78 cards in here. Oh, that one's flipping out. Eight of Summers. Okay, it's in reverse, so someone's not emotionally detaching and walking away. Hmm. You know, this might be good. Maybe that you feel satisfied and fulfilled. Because when there's an emotion of emotionally detaching and walking away from something, it's realizing there's there's a desire for more uh, and making a choice for a major life change. But feeling like happiness and respectfulness even. I'm going to set that there with the Hawthorne and entering the portal. Staying in the... I mean, she's in the forest. Oh, underneath. The Scots Pine. This is about construction, do you see, in the forest. This may be about building something, staying where you're at and building. Um, you may have to, like, declutter. Look, I see it through the long haul. You see, we're into winter in this card. The snow in the forest. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, underneath there I see unity, but it is in reverse. Mm. This is staying. Like, it's like you found your... Okay. Maybe you've already done this. You've already compared tradition versus new approaches to see what works, works for you. A spiritually minded community. Maybe just kind of removing yourself, detaching from any of that. The fives. Children. Eight, five, 85. Okay. So, I'm also going to bring the wisdom of the trees. And if I decide to do it as a, you know, the first card, second, whatever, like that horseshoe thing, I'm just going to, I'm going to bring that up so I can see that. Horseshoe. Here it is. Okay. The present moment. Okay. So, past influences. So, even though Linden was the very first card, right? What did it? It could have been something in the past. The giant redwood is underneath that. So, your second card is the present moment. So, staying where you're at, even building constru construction. Maybe for some of you, you're in a different, uh, you know, time zone. It's the other part of the world and it's winter time. And you can't go out in the forest or whenever you're getting this. Scott's Pine. Okay, the next card. 
So I'm gonna do this for each, even with the fairy tale. I'm just experimenting. That's what I'm doing. I'm just rolling with it. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I appreciate y'all listening. Okay, we got four cards came out. Nope, three. You stay there, kitty. Kitty, no. Queen of Spring. There's the fire sign energy. Why you? Why in reverse? Not taking any action. Not believing in yourself. Okay. Hmm. It's like it kind of in a staying, feeling stuck even. Okay, Sagittarius. Believe in yourself. Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and life or home life. Queen of Springs, you're this feminine energy, you're brilliant, loyal, talented, friendly. But what's hidden is you don't feel that way. These are about your emotions, right? Even with your community, your com your conversations, your siblings, your neighborhood. You don't feel appreciated or you, your own inner dialogue doesn't feel um, like there's people that want to help you. Maybe your work life and a fun time is out of balance. There's been a lot of staying home or something. I don't know. Tennis spring. Someone's been doing a whole bunch of work. You need to ask for help, Sagittarius. 910. Why does 910 keep popping up? That's a 10. Ask for help from others. All work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Oh, look at the carnelian. See, that's what it is. That's what it is here. That's an obstacle. Number four. That's not the way I'm counting it. I know it's right there. Three, four. Um, this is a heavy burden, doing all this work on your own. And then you get justice. So there could be Libra or um, balance here, peace. Um, you could have that in your chart. Nine, eight. There's a lot of Virgo energy. Maybe you're dealing with that or you're getting this in in September. Maybe that's important. I don't know. I'm going to get more cards with it. So... Scorpionic too, right? This is the sword, right? Shining. There is two there. There's balance with these. One is holding the scale and the other person, they're staring at the sword. Take time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective decisions. Linden. Maybe for some of you, some of the different names like Scott's Pine, uh, Linden could even be a place. I don't know. I mean, Scott, whatever. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Outside influences. This is outside influences. This piece. Okay. I'm going to grab this one behind. Indian Bean. It was in reverse, though. So there's Indian Bean. This is also an outside influence. I, well, maybe I should move it over here and make it be part of this. We'll see what the card reads. Okay, I'm going to read the book on it. Indian Bean, because I don't remember. Well, I don't remember that one. And this is actually kind of a challenging book to find them in. Trunk. So you have to pay attention to the color around. This is part of the trunk killing. Okay, vitality. Oh, okay. Do not overlook the obvious and simple ways of healing yourself. Ensure that you have plenty of rest and sleep. And find the time to prepare and eat wholesome, natural foods. Regardless of how busy you may be. 42. Dang. That's what it's saying. That's what's wrong. Maybe you're feeling depleted. Sagittarius. You've got to make the time to make meals for you or yourself. All work and no play. And eat. Hmm. So 
This is about vitality. My beautiful trumpet-shaped flowers greet the sun in the summer and in the autumn. I show off my seed pods. Let me teach you how to make the most of your many talents and attributes so you can regain your vitality. Wow. So that might even be something that's hidden because you're on the go, go, go. So some, so other people think you don't, like, it looks like you have so much energy. She's, like, carrying all these baskets of fruit and barefoot even. Hmm. Need to ask for wood. Huh. Merrily or Melinda. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. I am gonna pull another one. I'm gonna get I'm just pulling from the back and seeing. Oh, Baobab. Okay. Baobab, even about this work. This is about meditation, I bet you anything. So paying attention to the color. I got the blue here. Let's see. And for the long haul, Baobab survival. Oh, feeling like you got it for survival. Have faith in the universe's ability to provide you with exactly what you need whenever you need it and to offer you spiritual protection. Use your resources and talents to get the most out of every day. Sounds like that's what you're doing. But but you need to um, believe that you'll be provided, right? The tree of life. I am known as the tree of life because I can help people to survive the harshest living conditions. Whenever you call me, I will give you emotional strength and spiritual sustenance so that you can cope with whatever life brings at you. So whatever this heavy work is, heavy burden. Wow. The Baobo's remarkable ability to store thousands of gallons of water. Like, look, it was like she's carrying all these baskets, like all that water even. Hmm. The layers of fiber beneath the bark is used to make rope and cloth. The life-saving qualities of the baobab give it great spiritual significance in Africa and Australia. And it is believed to be the gateway to the afterlife. It can live for up to 3,000 years before rotting from the inside and collapsing. Its edible seeds are high in vitamin C, calcium, and protein, so are a valuable food. 29, you got the 11 again. The 11. Mm. 929. 911. Very fascinating. Okay. Like I said, the horseshoe spread. So that. That's an obstacle or an outside influence about feeling like survival. Okay. On this one, about taking time to review the details. Pomegranate. Look at that, even the star in the pomegranate. This represents the underworld. Prometheus. No. That is the one who got the fire. It's Persephone. The cat. <laughs> I forgot he was there and then he started making noise. He's just chilling here. Okay. Um, tripping me out. Okay. One, two, three, four. So we still have three more, it seems like. Oh, only two. All right. Very interesting. So pomegranate either is the outside influence or the best course of action. So some of you definitely dealing with Scorpio. Um, Maybe Leo, but Libra too. Scorpionic. Maybe Gemini because that's what I think of with pomegranate. Okay. Uh, and Taurus. That could be it as well. But I'm going to read this one out of the book. The pomegranate. You see, and now I have to see. This is a different. These are the fruits and the berries. So pay attention to the border. Pay attention to the border. That means. There we go. Yes, the inner journey. This is the inner journey. Okay, okay. So taking that time to review the details carefully. The inner journey, even being fair and objective decisions. Taking that alone time to do this too. I am the fruit of the underworld and I will guide you on your inner journey as you enter the rich realms of your unconsciousness. Unconscious. I can help you to interpret your dreams. 
and to gain a deeper understanding of the world around you. The ancient Greeks associated the pomegranate with death and rebirth, and its fruit features in several myths. One of the most notable is Persephone. Did I say that before I got the pomegranate out? I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Who was lured into the underworld by Hades, who tricked her into eating pomegranate seeds. This meant she had to spend her each, each winter with him, a time when nature went into mourning for her. Her reemergence into the world after spring allowed plants to grow again. The bark of the tree and the bark, rind, excuse me, seeds and juice of the fruits are all used. And Aruveda, Aruveda, use your intuition and instincts to tune in to the major themes in your life. Meditation will help you to still your mind so that inspiration can strike and creative visualization will help you to plan your life's path. Eight again, it's 71. That's the page number. So eights are very, and Linden. Mm. Okay, that was really fascinating, Sagittarius. What do we got on time? Okay, 31 on it. I told you this one, we go in for the long haul. Um, not too much longer though, but there is a few more cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one might even be the six. The best course of action is taking time alone and reviewing the details even. Hmm. Um, the final outcome is the seven. Maybe that's already the eight. Page 22 and 23. So I'm going to get a fairy for the... Uh, I want to do six because I see nine, eight now. 98, the 17 again. Mm, the eight. Eights. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why it's so scorpionic, too. You know, you know, you know. You know, she knows, she knows. Um, and I saw someone and they're, they had their, like, you know, their their handle or their whatever their screen name we want to go was persephone and she was listening to a song whole i'm pretty sure violet yeah violet and whole and petals hmm that's a pretty those are uh some lovely songs <laughs> uh and stone temple pilots tripping on a paper hole or in my heart something like what is it called Tripping on a paper hole in the heart. And Stone Temple Pilots, Where the River Flows. Sing that song inside. Four summers. Four summers ago. So there was the sadness, the depression, kind of, I guess, being distracted. It's not depression. It's boredom more than anything. Um, taking someone or something for granted, even. Failing to see a magical opportunity. Hmm. Feeling discontentment with life. Well, that doesn't sound that sucks. That sucks for an outcome. <laughs> um. Maybe it needs to come from. I'm gonna get this behind here. The apple. Okay, pomegranate apple. Now we're moving into the fruits. I saw a lot of the apples. Let's see. Get another one about this discontentment. Well, if you don't do something about it, then that's what I see the outcome is. is There's just going to be more boredom and apathy and discontentment. The will. Delays are over. Time to take action. Summer is here. 410, 810 even. A sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel. Boom. Apple. One, two, three, four, five, six. The will. Spinning will. So that's the outcome. Let's, this this boredom or discontentment is what like leap pushes you to be like, okay, I need a new car, something new. Maybe you get a new car and you just got new wheels, right? Or you're actually, you're going to travel. There's some unexpected good luck, whatever. Oh, and the ending, things are over with whatever was, I feel like this heavy burden or working because you've been working too long. You need to, you need a vacation. You need some time alone, some inner, 
meditation. Um, 1010. Even dealing with Libra doesn't have to be or something like that. Maybe it will be. That's just the final ending, right? The resolution of difficulties. A weight lifted off your shoulders. The end of an addiction or codependency. Maybe it won't happen until October. Maybe you're getting this leader in. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to get one more and then I am going to read Apple. The Pipal. Uh, this one is about the meditation. So in reverse, that's even like just making a little sanctuary or something. But I'm also seeing like something new happening. Maybe there's already kind of, you know, the meditation happens here. And then it's like taking this action to do it. The pomegranate. Hmm. Okay. So that could be the outcome as well. Our best course of action. All right. So I'm going to go to the Papal. That's enlightenment, but it's in reverse. 33. Your mind is ceaselessly busy, making you tired and anxious. You have been caught up in ideas and distractions. Learn to relax and still your mind. Try to connect with the world around you on every level. I am one of the world's most sacred trees, Pipal. In Buddhism, I symbolize the world tree. I can help you achieve enlightenment by stilling your mind, helping you to live solely in the moment and thereby freeing you from all suffering. Right. Tree of awakening. See, that's the whole thing. Like, there's... The mind is running. You need to try and calm your mind and be present. Enjoy each present moment. I know that we're looking into whatever this outcome or future -y stuff, but you've also got to uh, enjoy each day as you pave the way <laughs> for what's what's new. Or you you. You just take steps along the journey and sometimes it's not what you anticipated. Sometimes way better than you ever could have imagined. Let me tell you. Okay. Scott's Pine. You do the Scott's Pine. So that was one of the first ones or the second one even, right? Staying because there's construction or building, something like this, right? Are you building the life you want though? Do you feel dissatisfied because something is not working out in the way you would like it? Mm. Look beyond the day-to-day -day difficulties to gain a clear view of where and how you need to make changes. There's the 945. So, so seeing where you need to make the changes. Mm. All right. I think that's all except for the apple. Yeah. And then maybe I'll get um, a couple unicorn. I want to get a mushroom, but those ones take kind of long. All right. Apple is about generosity and giving. 67. I grow in orchards and gardens across the world. I bear delicious fruit and my spring blossoms. Cheers, you. On hot days, my leafy branches cool you. If you sit beneath them, I share my bounty with you. Bless others with a full and open heart, not only when you feel affectionate toward them, but also when they annoy you. Let your actions reveal your sense of generosity, whether it is material, spiritual, or emotional. Hmm. Once again, about the tree of knowledge, right? Um, yeah. So it talks about the Bible. You know, the other one has, like, the forbidden fruit. So, it's kind of talking about that. But apples have several medicinal qualities, including and in reducing blood pressure and treating heart problems. Apples were a vital source of food for many people. So, about being generous and giving. That's the best outcome. 
you know, it feels good. Taking things for granted, disconnect, discontentment with life. Hmm. Okay. So I am going to get just a mushroom or two. Okay, Sagittarius. The, ooh, Tremella, the yin. This is new. This is new. 40 minutes in, 40.04. And Verdigus Agarig Impress. 1031. So that's like Halloween, okay? That's what I'm saying. Scorpio Yin Impress. Yin Impress. 1031. <laughs> that, that was another. Okay, I'm just going to flow through. I probably won't read all the book of it, but just for fun, let's get the mushrooms to correlate for the Sagittarius. This has been interesting. You see, so if someone needs, you, you've been doing a whole bunch of work and you're not, it's not getting balanced. Turkey, turkey towel, the fours, a block. Something feels blocked even. Someone could, this could be in regarding your home, a block. Maybe there's turkeys around, but that, I don't know what turkey towel, um, what, what the book says about it. So I'll see. Like I said, this is getting way long. So it's already 41. More than I wanted to go. But. Oh, and the ghost mushroom. So shining bright even. Mm -hmm. And your vitality. About eating nutrition. Shine. 4-8. Mm, okay. Survival. Doing all this work. Oh, it's taking a long time. Oh, okay. Parrot, wax cap, 30. I don't know, that's one. Isolation. Isolating yourself and doing it all on your own. Thinking you got to do it. Uh, expanded awareness. Even kind of over here by the enlightenment. The 16. Amanita. That's the main card on here. By the pomegranate and the, the justice card. And this inner journey. 87, 87. So these ones also flew out. Okay. The de defense and balance. Chaga. I'm not going to take it in reverse, but maybe putting down defenses. But this is actually something that it works good with this. It's a beech tree. I think I've called it a birch before. And has been, I'm pretty sure it's a beech tree. B-E-E-C-H. This chaga grows on it and it has... um. I don't know. It's supposed to be really healthy, even though it looks like it's doing something wrong. They're, they have a, they work together, right? <laughs> Mushrooms and trees work together, you know? Hmm. Maybe even the apple, maybe being generous, giving, rarity, your rarity, even. You're going to get something. There is something. Um, maybe you're going to get a blue car. I don't know. Delays are over. Sudden, unexpected good luck. A new car travel. And it's rare. Blue, pink, go. 10, 9, 10, 18. A lot of, a lot of Libra, maybe Aquarius too. But the 8, 8, that's the 10. No, I'm all, and that's the 10. 9, 10, again. Virgo. Again, so that's what we ended with, even though that was there in the beginning. 4, 10. Okay, I'm just going to read a few of them. The fairy ink caps are up, up there, and it's, it's about needing to be a very subtle, um, which is just like, you don't have to be, you don't have to go 100% at it, you know. Um, take your time. And it's a delicate thing. It's a long journey. Very interesting. I see these lime greens are popping out. Maybe that's the car color or something. It's like one of those colors, you know what I mean? I'm all, you're getting a new car. It's either green or blue. Maybe it's white. <laughs> and you get a car. We all need new cars. You know? Uh, ministry. And Jesus built my hot rod. <laughs> Sorry, I could not help it. But bring that sign. Okay, where did the mushrooms go? There it is. Mushroom card. Okay. Um, I see. So, the yin. The tremella. Uh, 38, the 11 again, 10, 11, 
also known as snow fungus silver ear or the beauty mushroom. It has a gel gel gelatinous look to it and is classed as a jelly fungus. It's a jelly fungus. Mm. It eats other fungi, unlike most mushrooms, which like to consume decaying wood. It eats others. It's a cannibal fungi. <sighs> All right. It's also full of vitamin D and antioxidants and is anti-inflammatory -inflamma like many other mushrooms. Okay. Ooh, tremella has many benefits, including stimulating hyaluronic acid in the skin, which declines with age. It draws moisture to the skin, making it highly beneficial in skin care. That's something good to know. Hmm? This mushroom is rub it all over your skin, ladies. All right. <laughs> okay. Water. Hmm. In Chinese medicine, it is well known for helping with the lungs, which govern the skin. It's good for dry coughs and calming the stomach. It's well known as the beauty mushroom. Hmm. The key word here is yin. Tremella is shown to help with the yin aspect of the body. Within the yin and yang concept, yin is the opposite of yang. Yin is fluid, cold, calm, nurturing, descending. Whereas yang is fire, fast, ascending, controlling. When one is out of balance, so will the other be. Hmm. Because they need each other for balance. This card is therefore saying it is time to bring more yin into your life. Where are you out of balance? Where has the yang masculine taken control? Where can you take your hands off the steering wheel and fall into flow? Take time to nurture yourself and slow down. There are many ways you can bring, bring yin into your life. Drink more water, less caffeine. Do yin yoga, slow stretching or meditation. Eat nourishing, non-spicy foods. Take a bath or walk in the water. Ooh, it's like sprinkling raining. That's like walking in the water. Hmm. If, I, if left unchecked, yang can take control and then it will exhaust itself. The yin will be exhausted also, leaving your whole body in a deficit. That's so crazy because I feel like that's what exactly your vitality. That's what it was even talking about. Um, with, with the Indian being, with the tree and the queen of springs, the feminine. Sagittarius. That's what I'm seeing here. And the eights, they're scorpionic with that. Maybe Libra or Aries too. Doesn't have to be. Very interesting in the 11s. I'll... Okay, so let's see what's next because I want to flow through these for you, okay? Let's go to the... These are new, so uh, I'm taking the time to read them. Okay, here we go. This is even um, this inner journey and the details and being fair and balanced. This inner journey is seven even. Um, 87, 15 is six. Receiving something even, justice you will win. It says expanded awareness. Amanita. 53. Another eight. It's on page eight. There is so much weird synchronicity with that. The pomegranate was on page, was an eight as well. This mushroom is an eight. This card is an eight. The linden. Chiron. Hmm. Wounded healer. Hmm. Okay. The Amanita mushroom is an easy one to identify with its distinguishable red cap and white spots. It's mainly found in the Northern Hemisphere in the UK, North America, Europe, Siberia, and Asia, and has been introduced to New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, and South America. It's mostly found beneath pine trees in woodland and thus has become a favorite of fairy tales and magic. Considered poisonous due to its psychoactive alkaloid content, is commonly used for its strong psychedelic effects in shamanic and indigenous ceremonies. Siberian shamans noticed that reindeer became intoxicated by the. Oh, I've seen. Have you guys ever seen the video of the reindeer eating the mushrooms? It's some crazy stuff. <laughs> There's a video, I've seen it. Okay. 
Oh. So they would either kill them and eat their meat or drink their urine because the alkaloids remained intact and they could get the effects of the psychoactive content in this way. They would also prepare the mushrooms in other ways and found that by drying them first, the effects could be increased. Wow. Because it's used to alter your consciousness to help you access other planes of existence, this card represents the need to raise your consciousness to a higher level. All right, Stereo MCs, elevate my mind. I want to go higher. It's time to rise up and let go of the restraints that keep you thinking inside the square. It's also time to think and see things completely differently. 54, that's the 9. And 55, the Amanita does not decompose what it rises from, which is unusual for a mushroom. This is most likely due to its relationship with the pine tree where what it once used to do is no longer required. Have you formed a relationship with something or someone where something you used to do is no longer necessary? What is your purpose now? Are you needing to look at the value you offer in a relationship and see where you both work together? Or is it more of a one-sided feeling? Red is also a color that usually spells out danger. Eating Amanita is not recommended. So this card may be a sign of something to look out for. A warning that you shouldn't partake of something unless it is done in the right manner and for the right reasons. Anything can be poisonous if not used properly or not handled with respect. Tread carefully and keep an open mind. 55. That's a 10. Mm. 210. The ghost one is right there next, okay, Sagittarius? Oh my gosh, 51, 35, 56, the 11. The ghost mushroom is native to southern Australia. This is inedible and poisonous, okay? Um, ghost mushroom reminds you that you need to wait until the time is right to appear or to ask for help. You can keep doing what you uh, need to do in the background without others, but at some stage, you need to show yourself and work together with not only your tribe, but others who can help you grow or can get you to where you need to go. You cannot be seen if you shrink away from the outside world. Leo got this too. I also see Aquarius. So there was Leo and Aquarius with this as well. So I'm just bringing that forth. Another meaning of this card is to shine bright. Light up the room. Make yourself seen. There is nothing wrong with shining brightly. There is, I really like this one though. It doesn't matter how long it takes to get this done. Just remember the five P's. Proper planning prevents poor performance. When you have planned and prepared everything well, the execution of the plan would should work smoothly. Love it. Lovely. Okay. Um, Parrot wax cap. And then I might be finished because it is getting so long. I'm probably, I don't know if I'll do turkey towel. I might just quickly though. Uh, isolation. 88. More of those eights. And 89. The parrot wax cap is a striking slimy green mushroom that can be found growing in autumn on roadside verges and cropped grasslands. It prefers untempered, acidic, or neutral soil grasslands and may also grow in association with moss. Often found in the lawns and cemeteries, is widespread across the UK and like to be left alone. Hmm. The parrot wax cap likes to be left alone and it's easy to understand why. Isolation can be a good thing. Left untouched by pollution, noise, and people, it grows well. So can you if you are left to your own devices. You are capable of growth without all the things. What you thought you needed to survive might not actually be necessary. You should be surprised how little you really need at all. Sometimes stripping your life down to the bare necessities can show you how you have been living way beyond your means. Wow. Uh, if, on the other hand, you're feeling isolated and not in a good place, ask yourself, what do I need? What is it that really sustains me and makes me happy? Hmm. Finding peace is so much easier when you have isolated yourself and attended to what you really need. Sometimes peace and simplicity bring the greatest rewards. 
Wow, see, and this was even about survival and doing all this work. 10.30. From till 10.30. Um, and it was about survival. You gotta trust that you can. Even on your own, this builds confidence and strength even. Hmm. And I think that that, I mean, there's a time though. Addictions are often fueled by unhappiness. When you find something that makes your heart sing and makes you feel alive, you tend to not need your vices as often. Hmm. Well, that's interesting as well. All right. And then the four. Let's see. Oh, the chaga is a superfood. Mm. This it's on page 17. The chaga. 42, 42. But because this is getting so long, I want to keep it going. The block. So the turkey tail is edible and medicinal, okay? Where is there a blockage or stagnation in your life? Is it time to focus on building your energy and defenses so you can shift this stuck energy? Hmm. Turkey tail is effective in cancer treatment. Cancer is the proliferation of cells in an abnormal state. Ask yourself, what has triggered something in my life to grow out of control dangerously? That's interesting because that was kind of the same thing. It's really talking about the importance of, well, that sometimes growth, destruction and growth have a necessary, some growths are not good. And some, so then they need to be removed. Same thing with like weeding or whatever. So understanding that the process of growth and destruction. And we always think, well, let's grow, let's grow, let things grow. But sometimes that they're growing out of. So whatever's growing, something is blocked. Mm. Blocking the magic. Very interesting. Okay, Sagittarius. It's so long. I hope this has helped. It's been very fascinating and interesting. Uh, until next time. Bye-bye.